created your Amazon listing title, you're ready to create your bullet points and description. But before you can do that, in order to make your bullet point and description as effective as possible, what you'll need to do is conduct some very basic qualitative research, okay? So as many of you know, I used to work for a company that did qualitative research for Adidas. So I'm using some of what I learned there and applying it here, I'm simplifying the process and showing you where to look. But essentially, the whole point of this exercise is to focus on or to help you hone in on what the benefit of your product is, okay? People, nobody buys a product because of the product, right? They buy the product for what it can do for them, right? So people don't buy, for example, someone doesn't buy a weight loss pill to lose weight. They buy a weight loss pill so that they can elevate their status, right? They can feel better about themselves so that they can feel better around their friends and more comfortable, right? It's all, it, it all goes back to status ultimately. Any product that anybody buys goes back to status. So whether you drive a Mercedes or a Tesla or whatever, um, that's tied to status, right? Even if it's an eco-friendly car, right? Plenty of people are driving Priuses for the status that, that brings them, right? Not that they're better, but because they care more, right? I'm not saying that if you're uh, driving a Prius, you're pretentious at all. Um, I should probably get a Prius and drive that because I know it is better for the environment. But just getting in the mindset that people don't buy products, they buy benefits. So what we're going to do is go benefit hunting, okay, on Amazon. We're going to analyze very simply, like analyze your competitors, Amazon reviews, and we're basically gonna figure out why people are buying this product. Like what's the real reason people are buying this product? And also what are the biggest hesitations people have or the biggest pain points people have when they purchase these products? So you can either uh, create a product that uh, differentiates and um, you know improves upon that pain point as well as um, delivers the benefits better, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is open a Google Sheet or an Excel uh, worksheet, okay, like I have here. And what you're gonna do, it's very simple to set up. It looks may look a little bit complicated up front, but it's gonna be very simple. You're gonna have kind of two, um, two columns here. You'll have positive and negative, right? And I highlighted, I highlighted this in green and red to make it very simple. So positive and negative. And what you'll be doing is you'll be going into your competitors' um, reviews and you're gonna look at all the positive reviews and see what are people saying, you know? And in general, people are saying four or five things. It's crazy how, you know, people write their, their own review but everyone is kind of buying for a similar reason and kind of has this collective intelligence or this hive mind mentality and you're gonna be able to tap into that. It's very, very powerful. And uh, when you're able to really hit on, you know, some key points that people are like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need. You know, this is exactly why I wanna buy this product. You're gonna be able to sell to them over all your competitors, right? And your competitors aren't really gonna know why, but you do. So divide two sections, positive and negative, under each section, you wanna have, well, under the positive, you want benefit one through five. And under the negative section, you want negative one through negative five, right? And these are gonna be our pain points. And you can actually label this, oops, pain points. You can do pain point one, two. It really doesn't matter. Just positives and negatives um, or benefits and negatives. And then you'll be doing this. So you'll look at, I would recommend looking at your top two or three competitors for um, really as well-rounded data as you can get. And I'll show you how to do that in a section, or sorry, in a second. But first, you're essentially gonna set it up like this. And you, what the data that you're going to populate this sheet with is basically you'll go through and, actually, let's just do, go ahead and do it now. All right, so here's an example um, of just one of our, let's say we're in the detox foot pad category, and here's one of our competitors. They have 48 reviews. So we're gonna go ahead and analyze the reviews. So you're gonna kind of go through twice. The first time you're going through these reviews, right? And you wanna do this for your top two or three competitors, right? So I'm focusing on one right now. I'm gonna go through this competitor's reviews and I'm gonna understand through the positive reviews why people are buying this and just get a sense of why people are buying this, right? I'm not gonna write anything down yet. I just wanna get myself familiar um, with the category. They don't smell bad like other brands. Okay, that's that's, that's good right off the bat. I've ordered many different brands of foot pads. These are the first ones that don't seem to create an unpleasant odor when you wear them. Um, they're fantastic and fun function much the same way as the others. Five star rating since the seller was nice enough to send me an extra order. So good customer service as well. Uh, I bought these for myself and my mother. Let's see, these, are, these work great. I've been using them for two weeks. 
All right, easier finding myself able to summon the energy. Okay, so this gives me energy. There's another benefit. So we have, uh, maybe it smells good or, is it, or it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so that's avoiding like a negative. So it doesn't smell bad. Um, it gives me energy, right? Even without coffee. So that's pretty powerful, right? Go down here, great product, good product of you, similar. Customer service was good, um, which is big in her book. So that's that's also an important point, right? You need to have quality, uh, you, need to have, you need to make sure that you have good customer service um, with your email follow-up and with your, you know, answering questions on time and all this to ensure that, you know, you're able to compete with them. And just even not to, even if your competitors don't have good customer service, you should provide that regardless because it'll ultimately generate more profit for you every month. And it's just always good to be a good person as well and help people out. So let's see, several years ago. So anyway, I'm not going to go through all of this, but essentially you'll just go through, right, with a fresh mind and just try to understand what are what, what is the reason people are buying this product? What are they trying to achieve? We already saw people, you know, maybe want you know more energy. They want to you know feel clean, right? That's the benefit. Even if they aren't clean, they want to feel cleansed inside, right? That their toxins are being removed. Um, maybe they want better sleep, right? These are all benefits. And then we'll also kind of have in the back of our mind some negatives. And we'll look specifically. So we'll go through the five star review and kind of and kind of get this um, start thinking about this. And then we'll go to the one star reviews. So we'll go over here, so one star. It could be also one and two star reviews, it's fine. And then we'll start understanding the negative side, right? So the same thing. Gimmick, to say the least, after some investigation on the ingredients, which differ from the packaging. Um, nothing about the ingredients that would pull toxins. Let's see what it, looks it up online. Does not, uh, let's see, oh, it's a scam. I've tried a variety. Some actually made me feel amazing, but this brand didn't, okay. Yep. So anyway, you just go through again with a fresh mind and just get an understanding next. And when you're ready to start writing things down is to go through. So let's go back to the positive. Let's start with positive. I don't like looking at negative stuff. It makes me feel bad. Okay. So positive. Then after you've gone through one time, you kind of have this idea, start reading the reviews and write. And as soon as you see a benefit that somebody mentions, write it down um, on your sheet. So let's say energy. We saw that once and let's just assume this was the first one we saw. So like increased energy, that's the first benefit. Oops, sorry, increased energy. And then below that, we're going to write one for now. Okay. So we'll go here. Let's say, let's, so, you know, let's say energy, let's say the top three reviews all mentioned increased energy as a benefit. Like, Oh, I just felt so much more energized. I've, uh, you know, I could, it was so much easier to get up in the morning and without my coffee and all that kind of stuff. So let's say it was mentioned three times in our first three reviews, it was mentioned three times. We'd write three. So every time, so we essentially go through a second time. The second time we start identifying different benefits. So as soon as we hear someone, you know, uh, write in the review about a benefit of what of, or a good experience they had with buying this, we're going to go ahead and write it down here. So we have increased energy, let's say like better sleep. I'm just making this up. There's no point for me to just read verbatim, like review for review. I'm sure that's not, I'm sure that's not fun for you guys. Uh, increased energy, better sleep, um, feel cleansed. If I'm spelling that right, they just they feel good about themselves. They feel cleansed, uh, and you'll want to go through in total at least 100 reviews. Okay, that's the magic number. You want to go through at least 100 reviews. So if you're if this top competitor has 48, you want to go through all 48 reviews, right? And at first, right, I have five benefits up here. There will be more. There might be six or seven or even eight um, benefits as well as pain points. So, so you can expand this out and just add some more columns over here and then you can refine this later. And I'll, I'll explain that uh, in a second. But just go through and as, as soon as you hear a benefit, write it down and then write down how many times that benefit was said, okay? Like how many times people mentioned that benefit. And, you know, if you're, you know, if you're going to analyze three competitors, which I'd recommend, I think that'd be best, then try to do, you know, like about 33 uh, per competitor. And if you're only going to do two, then make sure you get around 50 for each. It doesn't need to, you don't need to analyze exactly 100. Um, and you can absolutely go over 100 and it will just be more accurate. But 100 will be sufficient to really start seeing some insights and getting some results. So, um, yeah, you'll want to analyze, like I said, 100 reviews. As you start seeing benefits, write them down here uh, in kind of the subheading category. And then underneath that for, you know, competitor one who we're looking at right now, you write down how many times um, this has been said. So you'll constantly, you kind of go back to the review and then go back to the page and update. So it's a little bit of a manual process, 
but it's going to be super, super helpful. Um, you'll do this with the benefit side as well as the, um, the, the pain point side or the negative side. And you'll do that for one to three competitors. And then what you'll do in the end, and I'll kind of show you what the end result will look like. So the end result is gonna look something like this. So we have, so I just did two here, competitor to one and two. Um, here are the top five, and I refined it down. I originally had like seven or eight, and I refined this down to the top five. So I took the top five benefits that people felt when they, or, or you know, the top benefits people received when they purchased this product, as well as the top five, you know, pain points, okay? And I organized, and then I just, I tallied up, you know, this is how many times this was said for this competitor, this is how many times uh, it was mentioned for this competitor, right? And then I tally up the results, so very simple. And I can clearly see that people are usually, are mainly buying this um, to feel to wake up feeling refreshed. They love the smell. Uh, it stays on their feet during sleep. It eliminates pain from their body, and it, they can see the results, right? So these are some of the top benefits of this product. Some of the top pain points include smelling bad, right? And so let's see, we have smelling bad. So we said, some people said it smelled great. Some people said it smelled bad uh, for competitor one, but that's always going to happen. Feels uncomfortable, sticky. It doesn't stick well. Didn't feel any difference. I had an allergic reaction. This is actually a true statement. I looked through some of the reviews and I, a couple of people had like a shellfish reaction. So this is great insight. Like think about this. This is free market research. Um, this is extremely powerful and you're going to use this to create your bullet points, which I'll show you in the next video, but this can also help you even when you're kind of, you can do this to create your bullet points in your description for your listing. You can also use this when you're trying to think about how to differentiate. So you, so you need to make sure that when you're sourcing a product through Alibaba that you um, eliminate, or at least you make sure that you have a disclaimer. If there's any kind of like shellfish or nut allergies, make sure that you have that there or maybe try to eliminate it and see if that's, you know, potential because we've already seen some people who have got allergic reactions from this and that's never a good thing. So you want to make sure you eliminate that. It's also part of the reason that you don't want to sell a consumable or a wearable kind of product for your first, anything that goes on the skin or in the skin, you know, or consumable. You don't want to sell that for your first product because of these reasons. Um, let's see, it doesn't stick well. So you may want to source to make sure that you source a product that um, adheres well, but then also, you know, doesn't leave a sticky residue. But it looks like, you know, the fact that it's not sticking while people are sleeping or whatever is the top reason why people aren't purchasing or having or leaving negative reviews. So this is great insight to help you improve upon existing products and differentiate, right? Another one's the smell, you know, make sure it has a you know, it, it may be good instead of having a neutral scent, maybe have a, you know, a, a lavender scent or a good scent, uh, a good aroma because people are, you know, mentioning this and calling this out like, hey, I love the fact that it smelled great, right? Enough people said this to where it may be, you know, you make sure that that's part of your um, product design, okay? So this is going to guide your product design and your product differentiation to where people are going to read your listing and it's going to have these benefits highlighted on your bullet points and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I definitely need this product. This is hitting on exactly what I need and what I'm looking for in this product. So you'll beat your competition in terms of getting, uh, getting people to make a purchase. And it's going to really help you understand who your customer is, which is always the most important, right? This isn't just a product going to random people. I mean, this is, this is solving a problem uh, or your product should be solving a specific problem for a specific group of people. And this is going to help you kind of understand that. And it's very simple. Uh, there's no real technically like, oh, wait, am I doing this exactly right or not? It, it's okay if you're kind of, you know, you get a little bit confused, like, wait, should I, like, does this go underneath this benefit or should I create a separate one? You'll start to see that there's some clear trends. Like there's, like I said, there's usually four or five benefits and then four or five pain points that really show up. Um, and they'll, they'll be significantly higher than all the others. So just really focus on the top five for each category. Uh, that's what I'd recommend to you and make a list like this and then it really helps you and then you just kind of go through and think about this and um, this will really help you with your description which i'll show in the next video and it will also help you in your product differentiation your product design uh, and all that so i hope you guys found this helpful again it's super simple a ton of people don't do it it takes a little bit of time uh, a little bit of structure you know with this layout but it will help you immensely i promise um, it's extremely insightful and i hope you found it useful i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video